Talos Magic Talk Show brought to you by Talos Master G C Food and Team Yet Dragon Talosum. Puriang Tenjon. Hi everyone, welcome back to the show. This is your Jeezy Fu right here, and today is a very intense episode full of juice. I have 18 minutes to explain to you, uh, trying to, the secret of the nine star or the seven star, um, which most people are so crazy about like oh it's the big dipper the big dipper big dipper magic and then they all go wrong why when you are listening to talus magic term you cannot interpret or uh, get the word by the surface definition when we say big dipper it's not like the big dipper in the sky or like you know those star it's not that Okay, when you're in that mode where you think it's about the star and things, you are wrong. Because all the talus magic are metaphors. Okay, it's like you can use mother, father as a metaphor. So what is the motherboard in your computer? Why is it not a fatherboard? Check it out, okay? So it's a metaphor, right? Don't be so crazy. So today I'm going to tell you the truth about what it means and why the seven star and why we always use the seven star and not six, not five, not one. Okay, okay, let's go. So here goes the intense version of the nine star theory. Star is meaning like one completion of a certain uh, phase of a, of like the whole thing. So like, okay, if I have, for example, three phases to complete a project, okay? I have to prepare, I have to do it, and then I have to wrap it up and finish and deliver, right? So, okay, so three stages. Okay, let's say homework, okay? You prepare to do homework. You do the homework and you deliver the homework to your teacher. Three phase. So there goes three star. You get the idea? Star means a completion of something for another thing to happen. Okay, that's what it means, star. That's the uh, definition of the word star, not the star in the sky. If you see any Talos fantasizing about the star in the sky, they are totally wrong. Okay, so what are the nine star? The the whole complete package has nine star because it's explaining the whole cycle of how anything happened from the beginning to the finish. So, and then and other thing will happen. So after the nine um, steps or nine phases, it repeats because it goes on with the one again and so on. Okay, so time to explain. One, okay, one, star one. Okay, we're going to go by like one, two, three, four. Okay, so star one. Star one is when you have the light, meaning that you have ding moment and then you have a like that uh feeling your vision uh, that intention is born second is when you have the desire to to intake to absorb to to um like the like i want you know that feeling i want okay three is when you have the feeling outside so it's like inspiration coming to you like senses um like triggering your senses, okay? And you have, you have like ideas coming into you. Like imagine around your head, there are like bubble coming in, okay? <laughs> Four is when the idea goes into your head. So you start to ponder, process, and think, okay? So you process information. Five is when you are giving the um, the yes, no, that kind of like the, uh, deciding your, your heart is in control. You're deciding yes or no, good or bad. You're deciding, okay? And then six is you're decided and you're like keeping it inside yourself. So you're not doing it yet, but you're just keeping it inside yourself. So it's like, I got lots of ideas. I agree to it. I want to do it. You know, these are good ideas, but I am not doing anything. So I keep it inside myself and I remember it for like, you know, like a temporary memory storage, right? You put it there and wait okay so as you wait you build up the inner urge like for example i really want to eat sushi right but you haven't done it yet so the more you wait the more you want to go eat sushi because that energy inside you is building up 
right? So that's uh, star six. Star seven. Ding, 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 ding. Star seven is when you physically start to like express your inner energy, which is like you physically start to show it. So like, I really want to, but I'm not showing it. Star seven is like, you start to show your facial expression, you say it out, and then you act, and so on. So the, the star seven is like it's um, launching from the inside to the outside. You're expressing, showing, you know, like that. So the outside start to grow, okay? The outside start to grow, and you will see like facial expression, words, and physical action, and so on. And star eight, which most people don't realize, there's like actually a star eight. So star eight is like the physical side is born, okay? And now it's like you're developing. So it's like you're actually doing it physically, but it starts to like get better and better. Like you're getting into action, doing it, right? And then as you reach to like almost the end, you're at star nine. Star nine is like the completion stage. So you're like, uh, getting the fruit, getting the final result, getting the the fulfillment, and then wrapping up, wrapping up, wrapping up. And then when you're like all done, then the star nine is like die out, okay? Then what happened? Next thing will happen, okay? So that's the nine phases. And these nine phases are like a pattern. It's like you can use this to explain anything in your life. For example, okay? Uh, you go for, uh, let's say you're going to a business deal, okay, like a talk business, right? I'm going to meet up with John and I'm going to talk about the business of him and so on. You know, let's meet up. Okay, so star one is when you have the intention, like I want thing and then like you have the idea that pops up. Star two is like, oh, I really want to talk to him now. I have the desire. Star three is like lots of idea coming. You know, I, I thought of what to say and so on. And then star four is like you think about like all the stuff that goes into your head. Now you're pondering, like sorting it out, right? Number five is like, okay, I decided I'm going to do it. Okay. And then number six is like, I'm holding on, uh, like wait a bit before I actually do the call, you know. And then star seven is like, okay, I'm going to like, move my butt and start calling him and then star eight is when we are actually talking and talking and talking and talking and then star nine is like okay we come to a deal now it's like we are wrapping up the deal and then after we are done you know the call ended okay and then what another idea comes up oh what's the next idea i'm hungry yeah right and then you want to eat lunch I, I love food. I don't know why. <laughs> so I want to eat lunch and then I have the desire to eat lunch. And then inspiration comes like my senses is triggering well, what to eat. And I have so many ideas. So number four is like I decided on one, one type of idea. So maybe um, Italian food, okay, pasta, whatever. And then, okay, so number five is like, okay, I decided. Number six is like, oh, I want to eat this specifically. I, uh, I want to like, I want to, but I'm not doing anything yet. Number seven is like, okay, let's move. Okay, move. And then number eight is like, I arrive at where I'm going to eat. And then I started eating. And then number nine is I'm eating, but almost to the finish. And I'm done. Oh, what's the next thing? Ding, one again, one. Oh, I have the idea of I want to go to poop. <laughs> I have the desire to go to poop. And then I have my senses, my body is reacting. And then number four is like, oh, I really, you know, in my head, I'm processing it. Okay, where to go, you know? It might be really fast. Like, not always like that star and that face don't always have to be very long. Sometimes it's like one split second and then the next star happened already, right? Number five, I decided to poop. Number six, Okay, I hold on to it, but I cannot anymore. And then number seven, I move, and then I went to the washroom. Number eight is like, I took off my pants, start pooping. Number nine is like, ah, oh, I'm done wrapping up, wiping up my butt, and then, no, I'm done. And then, hey, what's next? Number one again. Oh, I want to write a blog post. And then I let me go to my blog, okay? You see, one to nine phases explain the whole process of any happenings, okay? So, Eve, think about it, okay? If you want to boost anything in your life, like want to make things better, right? But which step out of the nine do you want to boost? Okay, done. Now you know that, right? We're going to do a seven-star magic. So you take your um, 
like you go to your altar. I mean, if you're a disciple, okay? You go to your altar, and now we're going to use seven light or candle to represent seven faces. Or you give it nine, okay? So we have like seven faces. And then we tell the God, we want to boost this event. For example, the business meeting tomorrow, right? I'm going to want to boost it. But I'm going to like light up all seven candles. So all seven faces are going to get an empowerment by the God. Okay, very simple. But during the night, okay, there was something that happened and it blew out the three and four. So it's like, oh, what happened? Then you ask the God, is this a sign? And the God said, yes. Okay, now just check. Number three and four have a problem. So maybe your uh, inspiration and what you're thinking about is not good. Something's wrong with that, okay? Something is killing your inspiration. So your idea that you have might have to change before you actually go there. So, okay, I fix the light. I think of new ideas. Ask the God that God say it's good. Okay, good. Tomorrow I go there and then I specifically need the God to empower me to be more confident with my decision. So that's star five, right? So I did extra magic on the star five and then empower that one a little bit more. So... I make sure that the God is giving help to star five because that's the one that deals with determination and uh, deciding things like that, right? Okay, good. Now, during the talk, when we are like almost uh, done talking, right? Like we're, we're talking, we're in progress talking business. I want things to get better. I want him to feel better about me. Okay, and remotely, someone can help me boost star seven okay put more energy in there and then there it goes you know the the way i talk the expressing is going to get boosted hey why don't i boost star eight and nine too of course you can right just that a lot of people don't know about it and then they were like you know thinking that it's, it's the seven star in the sky so they are like you know, totally getting it wrong. That's why you don't know about star eight and nine, right? You can't boost star eight and nine. For example, if we're in a lawsuit and I want the lawsuit to end faster, I can boost star nine only, and that will increase the, the speed for ending the case. And I don't need the other one, so I can shut off those light and just boost star nine. So it's like you're talking to the God at the altar, telling the, telling the God, you have... Like the God have a pool of energy and I say, okay, put all these energy into this event, like portal it, you know, like connect and portal and channel it to this event, but only work on this uh, phase of the happening. And when the energy is channel, channel over, it will help you make that phase better. You know, it's like... That is what the, the seven star or nine star magic is about. It's about the nine phases of any happening. And it's very easy to do. It's not something very like super high level, you know, it's just baby stuff. Um, yeah, like, um, okay, let's say you're studying for a test, right? Uh, and what would you want to boost for the whole happening for the studying? Well, for the, ha for the whole thing, I would like to boost my brain power so I can process the information or remember remember things better okay that's star four and six so i only need to boost star four and six or maybe star three as well to get more idea and inspiration as i write the test there you go okay so you have to understand the exact meaning of the nine phrases and if you want you can check out my ebook on amazon you can check out uh I have a book called Flying Star Feng Shui. It, it basically explains about the nine star in details inside there. This is the flying star. And it's very simple. It's not that hard to understand when I explain it. So check out my ebook. Check out Ji Yi Si Fu, J E E S I F U on Amazon, right? There's tons of books there. So this is what the whole nine star, seven star is about. So why do we use uh, seven star to, for example, name a martial art form. For example, seven star sword, okay, or seven star fist. What does it mean? Okay, it means that the form, for example, a sword form, seven star sword, right? It means that the sword form is for you to cultivate, to unleash your inner energy to the outside, to express your inner energy. So it's like a baby step to like... Um, put your thought to the physical form you know it's like a form to let you express your feeling from the inside to the outside so the form should be like 
you know, trying to give your, uh, like, like give a, a, an expression of what you want to do and not like a very uh, a powerful killing kind of form or a very speedy form. It should be a form that like, it slowly build up the energy and then burst and then build up and burst. It helps you like launch the energy from the inside to the outside. That's what it's supposed to mean, right? So when people name something like seven star something, seven star something, it's always like that. And um, we have a theory to explain the different dimensions. So one, six, eight are the main dimension. Number eight is the physical dimension, okay, where we are right now, which you can see. Number six is the spiritual soul dimension, where your soul is. Number one is the, what we call the zhan yun hong gan, is the, um, the essence or the pre-heaven dimension. That's like uh, where your yun san, your spiritual planetary body and such is, okay? So if you look at it, six and eight is like seven is in the middle, right? So seven is like the, the border. If you say something is like seven star something, it's like something coming to reality, something like becoming physical, starting to become physical. That's star seven, okay? So whenever we say seven star something, it, it's also do with like you're trying to express something from the non-physical side, like from your thinking, the, the thought, to make it become reality, to come true, okay? So seven star is often used to boost uh, like good stuff in the reality because it basically means to boost the physical dimension stuff, like boost something to the physical dimension. But it can like it, it has that positive vibe, like you're giving more, giving more to the, to the physical dimension. OK, nine is like you're negative in the physical. So you're like things are dying out, ending, completing from the physical dimension. So that's what nine is about. So nine and seven is like positive and negative. So usually when we are like doing things, um, for example, you want to kick someone's butt right, with the magic, you usually use the, the nine. Nine is like you want to kick their butt, right? Negative. Uh, if we want to like. Uh, have the God boost our altar, boost the energy is often seven because it's like positive to this world, right? So these are like number code that we use with the gods and the energy to communicate uh, with each other. So it's like a, you know, like Morse code, right? These are like number codes of Taoism. So if you get these things wrong, like the basic, you don't even understand the metaphor, then everything goes wrong because people talk about like microcosmic orbit and so on, right? They are all wrong if they think about the outside space because it's not talking about that stuff. When we talk about the sun and the moon, it's not about the actual sun and the moon. When we talk about the sun, it means the source, the source of light, the source of power. Okay, so in our lineage, for example, where is our power coming from? For example, the power comes from the celestial court where the god is. Okay, so that is the sun. And where does it absorb to? Which is like the, the moon that absorbs the light, which is our altar. So the celestial court beam the light, which is the power, to the altar. So where is the star? The star is where it bounced to, right? So that is the subject. So the power goes from the source to the receiver and then to the ending, like to the destination. It's kind of like internet, you know, you have this uh, service provider right, at the medium and then, you know, the outside, the big web goes through the provider and then to your house, kind of like that, right? Um, you have the power source goes to the altar, altar goes to wherever you want. Or you you can be the moon, okay? So the sun is like the God, the God power goes to your body, your body goes to the subject. That's what we, we mean by the sun and the moon. And the other, um, like what we call like the five element uh, planet, you know, like Saturn and Jupiter, they are all metaphor of the five element of your soul energy. Anyway, my time is running out. So I just try to tell you guys, you know, don't be misled by those false information out there. Like, Taoism is not something you can learn from a book only. You need a master or else you go so wrong like all those people out there. Anyway, uh, I'm done. <laughs> so, thanks for listening and watching and so on. So, remember to share, subscribe, like, and make sure you check out my TikTok, Tina Dragon Tao. We'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.